here guys and today we're talking about the beta fpb 35 amp 2 to 6s board this is the one that we've all been waiting for when beta fpb last left us they were but the learner but now they are the master the circle is now complete when i left you i was but the learner now i am the master they now have the most powerful all-in-one board on the market at 35 amps going all the way up to 6s meaning that it puts the current budget leader that is half the price the j Hemku uh board that's about 38 bucks to shame so you could potentially power a much much bigger craft with this thing but would you uh man if you are a big time weight watcher you just might but I think there are a variety of very light four and five inch options that utilize this form factor that can get you a weight that is incredibly low. And with a variety of new T-mount prop options on the market for four inch and five inch, you can really save a lot of weight by using this seven gram board. That's right, only seven grams. So this is leading me to really select something special for this. I think I probably am going to pair it with their 1805 motor because that seems to be a real sweet spot as far as power, weight, and efficiency like nothing I've seen before. And I'll have to decide if I really want to go on 4S or 6S with that. Uh, but I'm really surprised at how fast these toothpick boards have come along. They are using um, what I would consider large enough FETs, the same size FETs that you typically see on a 20 by 20 board. So as they have added full size motor pads, top and bottom, they've added large size power pads for your power leads and capacitors. They have added um, dual UARTs to be able to use the DJI system if you so choose. So it's kind of starting to be a no brainer on using one of these for all but your most power hungry builds. I probably wouldn't use this on a six inch or a five inch racing quad just yet. I might not use it on a five inch freestyle quad that was gonna carry a GoPro, but pretty much anything else smaller than that, I possibly would. And I am testing a variety of five inch racing formats that come well under 200 grams uh, with a battery probably closer to 230 grams, uh, and this might just be the ticket. If you get the weight that low, the power requirements are going to be a little bit less if you install the proper amount of capacitance and capacitors on board. Perhaps you can protect uh, from even those hard gate hits. So really, is there a frame combination with busless? Let's take a look at the bench. This is the beefiest of them all so far. It comes with a nice XT60 with the uh, wires already soldered up for you, which is nice. Comes with a whole host of gummies, um, some stack hardware. I really like that it comes with this. I hate having this ground for my own and some M2 nuts, which I seem to be low on. Um, it comes with a capacitor. I really like when these come mated with a specific capacitor, one that is meant to go with it. This is a 680 35 volt capacitor. So kind of like a good um, upper to medium size. Um, to give you an idea, on most of my five inch, I run a 1000, but this is a 680, so it is still pretty good. Now let's check a look at the board itself. Bit FPV's 35 amp all in one. Wow. I really like how they are enlarging the motor pads down here. The um, the JH EMCU kind of did something similar. Um, but look at this. Look at the motor pads on here. This is about the biggest motor pads that we have seen. Now they are very close together, so you're probably going to want to put some flux or use a rosin core solder when you solder these up so that they don't. Um, mesh into each other but this is easily made for a um, larger size motor if you so chose now let's take a look at some of the fats um, you have several kind of going around the edges out here um, it actually does have a very nice and clear silk screening so that all the pads are very clearly labeled 
I do like that. You kind of read it like in this orientation. So you have T2, R2 down here. So there's one of your UARTs. You actually have a 10 volt out. That would work perfectly for any of your DJI systems. So DJI would go down here on this right hand corner, kind of by motor two. So if you were flying this orientation, this is how it would go with this to the front. So DJI is gonna be up here. Then you're going to have your buzzer pads and things like that over on this other corner right here. That also has your 3.3 volts. So if you did use spectrum, you'd be over there. And then down in this bottom portion here is where you have your five volt ground, your camera stuff, and then you have another UART right here. Let's take a look at the bottom size. Here is where you have a number of your larger size pads. You also have some teeny little pads there. I'll put a wiring diagram so we can see what those are on the screen. And so that is what I wanted to see. This is rated for two up to six S. And so you really do want to see a number of these pads. This is it's labeled right here on the top is the Toothpick BL Heli 32. So this is a 35 amp board with BL Heli 32. This is unique. There's only a few of these that have um, the newer version of BL Heli, not the BL Heli S that most of these come with. What are you guys gonna be doing? Are you switching to these high power toothpick boards? Now the interesting thing here is the price because this actually ends up being cheaper than like a MK3 Mamba 6S board that I would feel comfortable flying on a five inch racing 6S build, no problem. So this is really for those lighter applications where you're gonna be throwing a lot of amps through it, a lot of power through it, maybe a three inch that you were gonna to use to also carry a GoPro, but keep the, the weight very nice and light. Good job on this one, FPV. Stay tuned, I'm gonna get all three of these new boards built up. The Beta FP 35 amp, the J Hemku 30 amp, the Diatone Mamba 25 amp. We're gonna put them all in some builds. We're gonna put them all to the test and see which one burns the first or if any of them burn or if all of them burn. And you'll get the real notes right here. Same bat time, same bat channel. Thanks guys.